hate a man that try to convince himself that he don't like you. <laughs> because be for real. Like be so for real. Boy, you is in love with me. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. You gotta make this woman chase your validation. You gotta make them beg for it. Why? Because they all think they entitled to it. Let's go to the TikTok video. She said, I hate a man who try to convince himself that he don't like me. See, this is the mindset of a lot of women. They think that every man likes them. They think that every man wants them. They think that every man should love them, should worship the ground. This is how they view every man. They think that you should just be all over them, head over heels. Matter of fact, if you look into her comment, she said, I love a delusional man. They think you delusional. They think it's something wrong with you if you don't worship the ground they walk on. They think it's something wrong with you when you don't validate them. They think it's something wrong with you when you don't give them that attention. They think it's something wrong with you. They think they think you throw off. They think you on some type of drug when you don't give them what they want. This is how they are. This is why I tell you guys, you got to make this one beg for it. Because a lot of times they just want your validation. They don't want you. See, basically what she's saying in that video, she cannot stand a man who don't validate her. She can't stand a man who don't give her any attention. That's what she's basically saying. She don't like the fact that a man values himself. She don't like that. She hates it. She want a man that's going to chase her and give her all the validation she needs. But let's be realistic here. We can give her all that validation. She ain't even going to like you. Matter of fact, she's going to reject you. She's going to be repelled by you. Your validation and your attention is currency to these women. This is why I tell you guys, stop giving it up for free. No, these women need to work for it. They need to be begging like... Please, they need to be begging for your attention. They need to be begging for your violence. They need to beg for it. A lot of these women think that they're entitled to it. And this is why they get so angry and frustrated when you don't give it to them. Like she did in the TikTok. She said, I hate it. It's like, cause stop it. Like you, cause you know you love me. You know you do. Stop it. She said, stop. She, cause she can't stand it. Cause, cause you, cause, cause you messing up her superpowers. When you give them that free attention and free validation, they get superpowers. That is their superpower and guys are snub. When well, you don't give it to them, oh, you have all the strength. You have all the superpowers. But guess what? The more attention, the more validation you give her, the weaker you are and the stronger she gets. It's a transfer of power. Even if you do like a chick and you find her very pretty, you still don't tell her. You need to keep your validation to yourself. She needs to earn every bit of your validation because once you give up that validation, you gave up all your power. Three things that are non-negotiables when I'm dating. Number one, you dating your friends more than you date me. I said what I said and I mean what I mean. I know too many guys that would rather spend time with their boys than their girlfriend. If that is the case, do not get into a relationship, babe. I am not about to compete with your boys, okay? Number two, you not loving me in my love language. Now hear me out. If you tell me that you don't like quality time and physical touch and you're just not an affectionate person, check please, let's wrap, let's wrap, let's wrap this up. You cannot change people. Now you can try to teach people to love you the way you wanna be loved. And I know that I probably should be a little more patient with that, but there are some people that will resent you because you're making them do something that they don't even enjoy. It would take less time to go find the person that's willing to do that than trying to change the person that doesn't believe in that. I'll see you next lifetime, brother. And number three, so obvious, but cheating. I have taken a man or two back after cheating on me. Even when I've negotiated my boundaries and taken somebody back for cheating, they cheated again because they realized that if I'm willing to move my boundaries one time, I'm willing to do it again. Argue with your mama, but there is no such thing as cheating being a mistake. Cheating is a deliberate action. Guys, listen up. When a woman tells you her non-negotiables, she's telling you the type of dude she's attracted to. Let's go to the TikTok video. She said, I don't want a guy who spends too much time with his boys, who don't give me that quality time, and who will always be cheating. See, those are the guys she's used to. She used to guys cheating on her, dealing with other women. She used to guys that's not giving her all that time, who's probably just pumping and dumping. That's what she used to. And see, here's where a lot of you guys go wrong at. Y'all would hear her say all of this, and then turn around and say, I'm not going to be like that. I'm not going to cheat on you. I'm not going to be hanging out with my boys. I'm not going to do all these things to you. I'm not going to hurt you. And she like, I got him. He fell for it. And see, she's saying that, not realizing that. That's a guy she really wants. And see, guys will get in a relationship with this type of chick and agree to her non-negotiables and she'll turn around on you and cheat with the same dude she told you that she don't like in her non-negotiables. This is why I tell you guys, man, stop listening to what they say. Pay attention to their actions because they say anything to sound good. Yeah, it sounds good. Oh, yeah, I don't date these type of men. No, no. She's basically telling you, those are the men I deal with. I'm used to dealing with men that cheated. Even after he told me he wouldn't cheat, she still took him back. Listen, bro. 
Oh, I don't want to deal with no dude who don't give me that quality time and all this stuff. Basically, what she's saying is, look, the dude probably just come through, smash, and dip. He probably be sharing his time with other women or doing other things, and she want all his time. But see, you come here thinking, that, oh, no, I got to give her all my time. I got to make sure she get all of me. I got to be my, my best behavior for this shit. And she looking at you like, yo. I got power over you. That's how they get you. Y'all listen to what these women say. And this is how so many women get power over you, man. Because y'all listen to what they say. Y'all believe what she say. Nah, nah. I believe actions. I believe footsteps. That's what I believe. This is why I tell you guys, if a woman has all these non-negotiables and standards for you, just leave her. Because what she's trying to do is put you in a position to where you jump over hoops and hurdles just to get her. Okay, so I've been meaning to tell you guys this story like for a while now. Since I have a little time right now. So let me tell you guys. So guys, I was dating this millionaire guy he was a multi-millionaire and um so he wanted to like take me to all those fancy places and travel the world like i remember one time he said let's go to australia and then when he sent me the itinerary like the tickets and stuff i saw that those flights were like twenty five thousand dollars like literally i can i'm gonna go find my screenshots and see and then i was like why would i let you spend that much on the flight to take me to australia just pound my vagina or whatever when you could give me that money and said to invest in my business now let me just say i'm okay with like all the fancy like fly stuff but it's just like if you really saw a future with me like if you see a future with me i think you would want me to be set in the long term not just having fun for the time being so like has that ever happened to you guys like someone just want to spend a lot on you yeah so like i was saying has that ever happened to you guys where someone is like they just want to spend money on you but they refuse to give you money to make yourself better i just feel like that's so selfish because if you claim you love me and want to be with me why would you want me to always rely on you why would you just want to have fun with me take me all over the world like when you could be helping me to better myself financially that way we can travel the world together where everything is not on you like i i can spend my own money as well like you know what i mean i just feel like it's so weird to just want to spend money on me but want not invest in me like you, you don't want to invest in my goals my dreams you don't want to support me but you just want to travel the world with me take pictures with me and just show off to your friends that you have a bad bitch like be for real so i broke up with him when i noticed like that's all he was about so it's just really weird to me and i can never be the kind of girl who just wants you to do stuff and not invest in me that video just proved that you cannot please these women that dude offered her a trip to Australia, and she said, no, I don't want to do that. You just give me that same money that you was going to spend on a trip to Australia and give it to me so I can invest into my business. And this is how a lot of women think. They want you to invest into them. They don't want to invest into you. They don't want to invest into your goals. They don't want to invest into your business. They don't want to invest anything into you. They just want you to invest into them, whether it's your time, your energy, your resource, whatever it is. They just want you to invest into them without having to give you anything in return. And this is another reason why I tell you guys, stop leading with your wallet. See, a lot of you guys think that, okay, I'm going to do this for her. I'm going to buy her this. I'm going to take her here. I'm going to do all these things. And that's going to make her like me more. No, bro. She's not going to like you more. Matter of fact, all you're doing is just let her know that I can use you. You're a useful idiot. And she's going to keep using and using and seeing what she get from you. And all she's going to do is add on more and say, okay, well, if you want to do this, what's more? What's next? This is why you need to start the bar low with these women. And if she don't like the bar being low, then just get rid of her. Because what she's trying to do is use you and see what she can get up out of you. Bottom line, guys, you really need to be mindful when you're out here dealing with these women. Because a lot of these women just want you to invest in them and don't want to invest into you point blank period all right it's your boy ty x worldwide man hope you're gonna mess in this video just like all my videos there is a message in there y'all already know what to do man like comment subscribe get with y'all another time